In Shogun Method, Derek Rick teaches a novel technique he calls the Vaxalt Match. What is the Vaxalt Match? Well, it's a tactic that shoguns use to build blazing quick rapport with women. Shoguns, by the way, are the adherents of the Shogun Method philosophy. Now, according to Rick, there are six modes with which humans communicate with others. Visual, auditory, kinesthetic, somasensory, olfactory, and gustatory. Rick calls these the Vaxalt modes. So as the theory goes, we have a dominant Vaxalt mode with which we communicate with. For instance, some people are more visual while the others could be more auditory. Shogun method is about seduction and Vaxalt matching is what shoguns use to charm women and they do it in two steps. One, find a woman's dominant Vaxalt mode and two, match it. Let's say you find someone you like and you want to build rapport with her quickly. So you decided to use the Vaxalt match strategy and you ask your target about her favourite movie. She says it's a pretty woman and you ask her why and she responds. Well, it's a beautiful movie. It has got this colourful 90s vibe which I really like. And Richard Gere is such an eye candy. So what can you tell about her Vaxalt mode? Given her choice of words, you can tell she's a visual person, right? Well, that's the first step in Vaxalt matching. The second step is to match her in response with visual language. For example, you can say to her, Oh yeah, I remember watching it in the cinema. I can still remember that day so vividly, it's strange. It was a bright sunny day and I had actually preferred to go to the park instead. Instead, I got to look at Julia Roberts for two hours and so it wasn't all bad. Easy, right? So that was an example of using the Vaxop match on a woman you like. But guess what? You can use the same technique to build rapport with anyone. In Shogun Method, there are six of these modes. From my experience, three of these modes will cover almost everyone you'll ever meet. And so for simplicity, I'd focus only on these three modes. Visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. In the Anzai protocol, we call these the VAC modes. And like VAC sock matching, all you need to do is to identify your mark's VAC mode and mimic it. For example, you'll know your mark is visual if he says these things. I see your point. Imagine it's clear that. The second VAC mode is auditory. Someone who is auditory understands things by how they sound. An auditory person says, I hear what you're saying. That sounds to me like, that's alarming. Third is the kinesthetic mode. To a kinesthetic person, emotions overrule everything. He will say things like, I feel this is right for me. I don't know, that's just a hunch. My gut says... So in summary, that's just two steps. First, spend a couple of minutes warming up your mark. What you want to do is to detect his primary VAC mode. Is it visual, auditory, or kinesthetic? And once you have found that out, communicate in the same vac mode as him. He'll find you strangely persuasive and charming, and yet he won't know why. So here's an important thing to know, so listen up. Sometimes, you may meet someone who has more than one vac mode. For example, he could say something like, Look, I hear what you're saying, and I feel good about what I'm going to do. So what do you do then? Well, here's what. Spend a few more minutes on small talk and you could probably find his dominant VAC mode because while a person has multiple VAC modes, there's often one that overpowers the others. If you still couldn't find that dominant mode, then follow this rule of thumb. Men are usually visual and women are usually kinesthetic. And that's not all. Sometimes you may even need to lead your mark into his dominant VAC mode. For example, if your mark is male, use more visual words and you hear more of the same from him. In the Anzai protocol, we call this reverse mirroring, a marker of rapport and empathy. And when your mark willingly follows your lead, he's ready for the next archive stage, compliance. To summarize, here are the key points. 1. You can build instant rapport with anyone with VAC mode matching. 2. First warm your mark up to detect his primary VAC mode. It could be visual, auditory or kinesthetic. And 3. Match his VAC mode by using the same VAC phrases he uses. Easy, right? That's pretty much everything you need to build rapid rapport with anyone you want. So there, I've saved you hours from reading all those books on persuasion, networking and making friends. For more of this simple but unconventional social influence know-how, visit darkliver.com.